What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Since I'm on Nightmare on Elm Street in this video here today and talking about these comments Jason Blum recently made. Talking about getting Robert England back to play Freddy Krueger and this dream project they have in mind. Or this dream project of uh, that I'll just say is, is really what it all it is right at this point. A dream project. Um, no pun intended. <laughs> so we all know Robert England is Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger is Robert England. Everybody would love to see the man back in the role. I would love to see him back in the role, but the honest question now at this point is what else can he even, can he deliver? I think he can deliver as Freddy Krueger, but is it going to be done in something that I think you would be satisfied with? Think of all the limitations that are here now and all the different things that would have to come into play to get Robert back into the mix because Robert is in his 70s. I think he's 75 at this point. You know, Jason Blum had these comments to make when he was talking to Screen Rant. He said that he said that he could get he could get Robert England to come back. I could get I could get anyone to come back. I mean, Ellen Burstyn was 87. I got her back in the upcoming sequel to The Exorcist, 75. He's young when he was saying in reference to Robert England. Robert England, again, I have no doubt in my mind that if he were to be brought in as Freddy Krueger, he would deliver a solid performance once again. It's just, of course, it's not going to be in the same vein as what we have gotten from him in the past. He hasn't played Freddy Krueger. Kruger, the Freddy Krueger that we are used to seeing since Freddy vs. Jason in 2003. He had that little stint on the Goldbergs, I think, where he wore the makeup and everything. That was all fine and dandy. He's always going to be able to do a great job, I think, as Freddy Krueger. It's just not going to be done in the same stupendous, tremendous vein we've gotten all those other times because he is up in age. You should pass the baton over to someone else. I've even, I don't think I've actually talked about it in a video, but I might be mistaken. I'd love to see him back in the role, but there's so many limitations now and things that I'm, I'm, I just don't want to see them do now that I'm now thinking about it that pertain to how they would get him back in the role. Cause for the most part, what I'm seeing or picturing is someone who's not Robert doing the role. And then them somehow, I guess, doing some CGI to put his face on his body or something like that. You know, we don't we don't need that. Just let someone else play the role altogether if you're not going to let Robert do it all the way. Because you're aware of the limitations that now exist from Robert because he's in his 70s. You're not going to be able to get the same things you want out of him. Sure, you could have someone else's body present on screen and use Robert's voice. Sure, you can do that. And maybe some people won't even mind that. Maybe you can make it work from the simple fact of course you'd keep freddy shrouded in darkness and keep him in the shadows you won't see him too much and then when we need to see him of course we would see robert's face but it'd be very zoomed in shots obviously then telling a lot of your educated audience that that's not robert when the camera isn't zoomed in like that <laughs> it's just now robert now because you have the camera zoomed in and you want the face to be the face of freddy that everyone is accustomed to seeing it's like no, if Robert can't be his goofy self in the role and strike fear in my heart in the role and be Freddy all the way through and through 100%, no other things needed, then Robert doesn't need to be Freddy Krueger anymore. Robert England as Freddy Krueger is always going to be one of the most iconic portrayals in any horror franchise. He did such a great job with the character, even despite the quality going down with each sequel i would say after the third one you still have a man who was so dedicated to that role he was the heart and soul of all those movies even while everything else around him is complete trash robert england always showed up he always delivered and he always sparked the conversation he had a lot of people scared he still has a lot of people discovering these movies and being scared and just in awe of what he's able to do with the character the character is so iconic not because of only who created the character but because of who created the character and the person that they decided to pick to bring the character to life robert england and freddy krueger are always going to be one of the biggest blessings to the horror genre but as it stands right now it is time for us to have someone else in the role i of course selfishly would always prefer it to be robert england but there are limitations that i know he has given that he is up in age these are limitations that they would flat out make a make abundantly clear on screen i feel like if they were to even try to do a movie with him in the role in some capacity you could always do a movie in which 
you have them sharing the role, of course, like a James Drew Courtney, Nick Castle scenario where, again, maybe you could have a few shots where you see Freddy's face up close and you just show us Robert. But then the majority of the movie is it's not Robert, it's someone else. And Freddy is shrouded in darkness. It would probably be best, though, to not use Robert's voice. That's the thing. It probably be best to just commit to someone else 100 percent and have Robert's brief cameo be just that a brief cameo where we see close up shots of whoever is playing the new Freddy. And whenever it comes time to show Freddy's face, you can show us Robert in the makeup. And of course, those of us who know Robert's face, know those know those structures. We'll pinpoint that, okay, that's the original Freddy Krueger actor back in the makeup. That's a nice little nod to him. But of course, throughout the whole movie, you're not going to have Robert England running around doing all of these things that he was doing when Freddy first came out in the 80s. He's just not, I, I don't want to, I don't want this man to be doing all this stuff just to satisfy me. I'd rather us find someone who is up to the task, can do it 100% through and through, and can give us a memorable Freddy Krueger performance, a new iteration that would make Robert England proud. It would make Wes Craven proud, make the Craven estate proud and make any new horror fan that has recently discovered Robert England and what he did with that character in those movies. Make them proud too to now see somebody else take up the mantle and do such a good job that you're not concerned about Robert England not returning anymore. Because I think that with Robert England, the biggest thing now is that a lot of people, I, I would say for the most part were just completely dissatisfied with what they got in the 2010 remake and even now i would admit that the biggest detractor there isn't even the performance as much as it is okay how the how freddie looks <laughs> that's it outside of that if you can nail the look then a performance is really going to be something that comes down to finding the right person but if the look is off then of course people are not going to really pay too much attention to that performance and i think that's really what hurt that remake it was mostly the look because the performance now that i think about it and now that i continue to rewatch the movie when i do it's not a bad performance i just think robert's time is coming gone and i love him to death i just think it's time to find a new freddy krueger but let me know what you think about jason blum's comments down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and you miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video